A weekend of deadly shootings across the country causing concern as they continue to happen at large public gatherings and some at places tailored for children and families. As temperatures warm up across the country and a lot more people are outside, there are some things to keep in mind when you're in a big crowd. News for Jack's reporter Alicia Hatcher spoke to our crime and safety analysts about what you should know to stay safe this summer. In the past 24 hours, people are dead and others are injured after three separate shootings across the country. The first shooting happened at a splash pad in the Detroit, Michigan suburb. Several families were at a park in the area when a man walked up and fired 28 shots. Nine people were shot, including an eight-year-old boy. Officials say the boy was shot in the head and is now in critical condition along with his mother, who was shot in the stomach and leg. The other six victims are in stable condition. Police were able to track the shooter down at a home where they found him dead. They believe he shot himself. Moments later, a shooting happened at a Juneteenth celebration in Round Rock, Texas. A fight broke out between two groups during the event. Someone pulled out a gun and started shooting, according to officials at a news conference. As a result, two people were killed and several others were injured. Officers at the celebration began helping other victims. No one has been arrested in that shooting. On Sunday, seven people were shot in Massachusetts at what officials describe as an unplanned car meetup. Six other people were taken to the hospital and one was taken by air, according to officials. Five of the victims are in stable condition and two are in critical condition. We saw a similar event here in the River City back in March when three separate shootings broke out in Jacksonville Beach on St. Patrick's Day. Police initially put out an active shooter situation warning, locking down the area for hours. One person died and three others were injured. I spoke to our crime and safety analyst Tom Hackney about what goes into solving investigations like these. From a law enforcement perspective, how difficult is it to find the person or people responsible for incidents like this? It, it can honestly be difficult because if somebody goes in and does these things and, and doesn't talk about it, you know, that, that, that makes it more difficult. You, 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 luckily, in today's world, there's a lot of surveillance out there in a large crowd like this. You know, typically you will find somebody that's, that's caught the incident on, on camera. So for law enforcement standpoint, that's a good thing that you can maybe get a picture of the suspect and start working back from it. He encourages people to have an exit plan. Keep your heads up basically is is be aware of your surroundings and that that's really true most all the time but especially you know nowadays unfortunately in large gatherings like like where these happened over the weekend just really be aware of your surroundings alicia hatcher channel 4 the local station